They're selling this new drink at the farmer's market, right? Coco Puro. Okay. It's coconut milk. Only in Miami. They, they got to call it Coco Puro. You know? And they're charging crazy prices, but you can make it for free. Because this shit grows for free. It's just nobody does anything anymore. Everyone in Miami's got a little of this, you know? So they don't want to do any of this. You gotta chop these fucking coconuts up and you're gonna make some coconut milk. How hard is it? I don't know. I mean, I made coconut before, plenty. But let's see if we can make some coco puro. All right. I don't have one of those fancy de-huskers. I just have this. So I'll show you how I do it with this. It's gonna, it's a little, you know, that's gonna take a little work, you know? Once you start chopping it, you can try to, uh, Turn the blade open. All right. Start turning it a little bit. Like that, I'll, I'll take it and I'll try to pull that one. smells fresh. I like to make uh, coconut milk like this for uh, soup, mainly, stews. And, uh, and I'm gonna make ice cream, so. <clears throat> Work on your grip strength. You know, they say that uh, grip strength is very important for uh, brain health, believe it or not. That there's some connection. If you have good grip, less Alzheimer's. Plus, as you get older, and you know, you might be able to stop yourself from breaking a hip with a good grip. Okay, see that, see that hairy nut down in there? All right, we got this fucking thing, we got this, we got this, come on. Let me take it a little bit, make it a little easier for me. I'm gonna hit that backside, hit that bum, so we can get them nuts out. See that, that little turn there, that's gonna help release the top part so you can grab them, pull it off. <clears throat> All right, got it. <laughs> I'm gonna do another one and then I'll meet you in the kitchen. All right, you guys ready to make some coconut milk, AKA Coco Poro. I don't even want to say it. We got to get to the meat of these things, so we need um, the water's going to splash out. We're going to catch the water, and um, so I I either use the back of my machete. I'll do one with the machete. I'll do one with the with the kitchen knife. You can if you have a, a chef's knife. This is, a, this is a chef knife, so it has a little bit of a, you know, some strength to it. It's a shun, okay? <laughs> Alright, right, that was a better one. We, we, we caught it. We caught it on that one, alright. I'll try to, like, get to the, uh, as far down as I can, and then I work and you can kind of do this move where you do this a little bit, you know? Sometimes you get lucky and they can kind of pop out in one piece. That's how, you know, you play the lotto that day, all right? The day that that happens. All right, but what usually happens is you're gonna chunk them out. And then once you get a chunk out, then now you have like a, a piece here that you can kind of, something to dig your meter, the meter into and, uh, 
get to the rest of that meat. Get that nice, and that's that's fully edible, you know, that little brown part there, that's delish. It's one of my favorite snacks on the farm. And it's good for the ball sack, too. You, know, you see how it's coming out? It's coming out nicely, a chunk at a time. All right, that wasn't so bad. I got all my meats demeated here. They're beautiful. The only thing sometimes you have to just be careful any of that hard shell doesn't um, remain on your uh, on your coconut meat so if it is you can just use a paring knife and cut that off otherwise it's gonna you're gonna hear it in the blender it's gonna crackle snapple all right so what I like to do is just kind of like dunk them in this bowl of water and that's just gonna get some of that dust off some some of that debris from the you know the coconut husk maybe even dirt that could fly in there uh, you know from the outside of it and um, basically uh, after I do that it's 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 gonna just gonna go right in the blender so I got them in the water I'm just gonna pull them out put them in there they kind of chunked out at the right chunks for the blender Two coconuts fits in one of these tall Vitamix um, blenders. Just put all the meat in there. All right. Boom. Put that over here. Get my my Vitamix here. So we had that coconut water from the original Cocos. Just pass them right back through there. And we're gonna need a little bit more coconut water. Use your handy dandy coconut tool here. Is just don't splash my VHS, come on. You know how those fresh coconuts pop on you. All right. I'm just gonna fill this pretty much right up to the top. You don't know how to use one of these you're retarded no just uh put the thing through the side and i kind of hold it like i do a paring knife that's the easiest way it just kind of kind of comes off there and then you can just yeah, i show you people everything all right let's get that in there all right one more should do it That looks, that looks good. Just blend that coconut water with that coconut meat and we'll be in Coco Pora Vida. Right to the tippy top, that's how I like it. Let's get our container back here. Strainer. And we're just gonna strain it. That's it. We're gonna have to probably do it in a few batches. But, um, 
We'll fill that up as much as we can. All right, that looks good. And now we gotta do this in stages. Rubber spatch. You know, I like to just do a little bit of that. I mean, this is these farmers markets, man, they're just trying to bend you over and fucking coconut oil your fucking little anus. All right. Come on now. Let's get that liquid out. I'm going to get as much of this milk as I can. Now, we're making it creamy. That's going to be creamy. <laughs> this is better than your legions farmers market. It's gonna be better than the Legion's Farmer's Market. It's gonna be better than Pinecrest. It's gonna be better than the Coconut. This is... It's better when you make it or when I make it, okay? It's better when it doesn't cost anything and it's just as delicious. I feel bad for these people that have to do Farmer's Markets. They gotta love, I used to do them. I'm like, never again. Am I going to work this hard on the farm? I'm going to lug everything to a place and then stand there while people walk by and they go. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. Apparently, I stopped doing farmer's markets just when they start to blow up. Can't win over here. Coco Poro. Poro fucking whatever. Whatever the fuck. When I go to the farmer's markets and I try to sell coconut water, these people are like, Ew, I don't drink coconut water. I don't like it. Anyone who doesn't like coconut water is also a piece of shit. Or people who, uh, who when I used to do fresh sugar cane at the farmer's market, they used to be like, oh, it has sugar in it? I can't have, sh oh, sugar's bad for you. Oh, I can't do that. It has sugar in it. Fuck you. Yeah, it's farmer's markets. They suck ass. They sit there all day, what, to make a hundred, to make a hundred dollars and then pay the, the, the one who's organizing the, ven the vendor, you gotta pay them a hundred. Then you walk home with your tail between your legs and you gotta lug all that shit back feel like a failure and then wake up at the crack of dawn and start it all over again nobody cares apparently everyone else makes money farming I don't know I'm just I have everything ass backwards I started doing YouTube in 2009 2008 but I, you know, I didn't keep it going, obviously. I could be the John Tron of farms, but I'm retarded. Fucked up. But you know what? It's not too late, okay? I still have two arms, two legs, two penises. It's not too late. Um, all right. It's taking longer because I'm really squeezing it. I'm trying to squeeze every bit of juice. They're charging $17 at the farmer's market for not even a pint. <clears throat> I'm like, oh, what's this? What's this drink called? Coco Poro? Poro? Coco Poro? <laughs> this makes me sick. All this cute bullshit. All right. looking really nice. Which one's the fucking camera hole? There you go. It looks really nice. I'm gonna make some ice cream now. 